Tomorrow's agenda. Wake up, eat breakfast, because it's the most important meal of the day. Get dressed. Brush your teeth. Go to school. Be sure to be at school. Get out at 1.30 and go have fun, but not inappropriate fun. It's Thursday, September 30th. It's the last day of the month, and tomorrow's the last day of the week. And now, today in history. September 30th, 1994, more college-related murder and mayhem. A 22-year-old student at Texas A&M, Ronald Schamberger, killed a young woman whom he previously dated. He confessed to shooting her in her sleep and setting her house on fire. Man, college sounds stressful to me. In 1927, Babe Ruth, the New York Yankees, hit home run number 60 for the season. That record stood for 34 years until Roger Maris broke it with 61 homers in 1961. I think Babe Ruth was a beast. In 1955, James Dean was killed in a car crash in California. He was only 24 at the time of his death, but remains an American pop culture icon. Remember Fonzie? He wanted to be just like James Dean. Hey! Who's Fonzie? Let's just get to the announcements. So, Ms. Tidwell, there's three things you wanted to discuss with the student body. First was the dress code? Yes, I wanted to discuss the dress code. It's cold season now and everyone is starting to wear more sweatshirts. And uh, on page 26 of the handbook, it talks about that you can wear them, but they have to be certain colors. The white, yellow, red, navy, blue, black, and gray. And the only logo that can be on there is the Crandall logo. So if there's any other logo on there, then it's not appropriate wear. And turning them inside out is not going to be allowed either. So if you wear it to school, you need to take it off or just don't wear it at all. And if you wear a heavy jacket, it needs to go into your locker. It doesn't need to go into the classroom, according to the handbook. So uh, we all need to be aware of that now. All right, and the second thing was the ID badges? Yes, our ID badges. I have mine on. I finally got mine. <laughs> this will be enforced. And starting Monday, we're going to be looking for them, and those who don't have them will be sent down to the office. So uh, I need everyone to be sure that they all wear their ID badges. And third thing was the early release. Yes, I know we don't have a fair day this year, and uh, it's just the way things have happened. But uh, And we passed out the tickets already. And uh, I don't want students to think, well, I'm just going to take off all day Friday and go to the fair. We need everybody to be here and wait until the release time at 1.30. If uh, students are absent Friday, it will be uh, considered an unexcused absence. It will go against their uh, uh, exemptions for their semester tests. And if there's any work that they were to do Friday, they won't be allowed to make it up. <clears throat> and uh, also, there's a good chance that we won't be passing out tickets next year for a free ticket to get in. So students don't need to uh, just take off and have fun all day Friday. Come to school, get out at 1.30, and then go to the fair. Uh, odds are not everybody's going to go to the fair Friday anyway, so uh, they all need to come and do what they need to do and be responsible. So uh, come to school, go to the fair after 1.30, if you're going to go Friday. So uh, uh, we want to pass out free tickets again next year, so let's don't abuse that. Good morning, Pirates. Today is Thursday, September 30th, 2010, which is my birthday. If you had your picture made on July or on August 25th, stop by the front office to pick up your ID. The second drama club meeting will be held today at 3.15 p.m. If you are unable to attend the first one, have no fear. You still have time to join. Dues must be paid by tomorrow. They are $10. Don't miss out on the fun. PSAT will be given here at Crandall High School on October 13th. If you signed up, you need to come by the counselor's office to pay their fee of $15 and pick up their study guide. This should be done by tomorrow. It's open to freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. There will be a blood drive here at CHS on Monday, October 11th. Sign up in the counselor's office ASAP to reserve a time. The SAT will be administered on October 23rd. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up. The SAT will be given November 6th and you can sign up through October 8th. Cross Country went to Blooming Grove this weekend. JV Boys as a team got first, Reed Foster placed second, Eliza Sparza placed third, Zay Rojas placed fourth, Josh Alvarez placed tenth, and Brock Hodge placed eleventh. Varsity girls would have gotten first with one more girl on the team. Macy Gilchrist got second, Caroline Banda got eighth, Vanessa James got ninth, and Judy Lopez got tenth. Woo! Crandall Speech and Debate traveled to Roy City for their first tournament of the season with great results. Zach Wesley placed first in informative speaking. Dylan Roberts placed sixth in informative speaking. 
Catherine Bradshaw placed third in CX debate. Oh, and if you paid your money for the kickball tournament, please come by room 119 to get your money back. The kickball tournament will be rescheduled. We'll get back to you on that. Attention, students and parents, report card night will be Monday night from 5 to 7 p.m. Come get your report cards and meet your teachers. Don't forget, we have early release tomorrow, so show up for school at regular time, and you'll be released at 1.35 for the remainder of the fair day. Attention juniors and seniors, tomorrow morning at 7.30 in Mrs. Gormley's room, there is a new Alpha Theta meeting. Dues are $10 and must be paid by October 7th. Anyone is welcome to join. I'm BJ. And I'm KD. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching Pirate TV.